morning. Isn't this campsite rad? I can see why they record so many movies here. Um, I just got some texts from friends up in San Francisco. Apparently the weather there sucks right now. And I don't know, I'm starting to like, the, the, the space and the time on my own here has kind of started to shape what I want to do. So I'm kind of, I'm figuring it out. Uh, I'm really craving getting back out on the ocean and surfing again, but if the weather's crap out there, then maybe, maybe I'll do something else today and make my way up there maybe tomorrow or the day after, we'll see. Um, kind of feel like I should go see Big Sur. I should go head back out to Big Sur and see that before I get to San Francisco. Uh, there's a massive windstorm it started at kind of like midnight last night and it's been going on a bit today. I mean, it was really windy yesterday too, but this is like whole van shaking back and forth. It's just calmed down now for a minute because I'm recording. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it makes it so that I, I don't really want to take the dirt bike off because dirt biking in the wind is very frustrating and mountain biking in the wind is worse. So I might just go for a regular old hike, but I think I'm gonna take the van with me and just go explore a little bit and then find a spot to go for a quick hike with Champ. Before I leave this campsite, I wanna see a bit more of it. All right, let's do this.
This place is absolutely amazing. I could stay here for weeks and probably not discover everything. I bet you there's so many hidden secrets here. Um, I found like an abandoned mine here and it looks pretty legit. I mean, it might be part of a film set. I, I don't know because this area is known for film sets, but if it is, they're extremely thorough because those, uh, those mining caves go pretty damn deep. Uh, I didn't have the, uh, there's one, they had gates over each one and there's one spot where you could maybe squeeze through, Champ could squeeze through, I, I don't think I could have, but, uh, yeah, I pansied out on that one. I'm not doing that. <laughs> it's too scary. <laughs> I'm gonna go check out some national parks though, so we're gonna hit the road, go check out, uh, some more beautiful things today. <laughs> All right, decided to stop by at Lone Pine again because they have this great public Wi-Fi that's right on the street so I can just park up and do all my work right here in the van and, and make some lunch. So I'm making a, more of those uh, little mini sausage street tacos. What a great mash of cultures, man. Such a good idea, if I do say so myself. I'll be in the road shortly, though. All right, so complete change of plans, 180 degrees, going back south now, because all the routes north are snowed in, and I could probably make it through, but I'd probably also have a heart attack after about two days of that driving. So, uh, I'm not the only one either. Miche is also stuck here. So we're just gonna roll together for a while. We both have the same goal in mind. We both want to head over to San Francisco. So that's good. <laughs> so yeah, I guess we're just rolling together for now. Let's go do some climbing. One to your back. That rhymed. So yeah, today I'm gonna learn how to boulder. This is not how I anticipated this afternoon going at all. We need a lot of dirt. Like that again. He's 13 right now, right? High ball problem. High ball? Yeah, because it's really high off the ground. You don't want to fall off near the top. Otherwise, uh, you know, break your ankle or something. 
dying things tend so to happen. So I'm gonna clean it. <laughs> <laughs> but I would, uh, we got a lot of like the newer people started on uh, on that rock on the other side. It's okay. a really fun boulder problem that you could try. That's kind of like hard. For the I like how you call it problem, like it's problem solving. Yeah, that's what it is. That's exactly huh. what it is. Neat. Or you can grab on here, go left, and you grab that here, pull up. This is the hardest part is going over the lip of the rock. And yeah. everybody's beta is different. You're super tall, so I'm wondering how you're going to do it. <laughs> uh, my beta is just like haul the leg over. That's the beta is like your oh, solution oh. for that problem? Yeah. So beta is like um, the technique you use. And when somebody asks, do you want beta? It's like, do you want to know how I climbed it so that you can try and climb it? Oh, you know, okay. and a lot of people will say like, no, I don't want beta. I want to figure it out myself, you know? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I can see that. Cause that's like the satisfying <laughs> yeah. bit is figuring out your own Exactly. Line. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's like a spoiler. Exactly. There you go. And then reach up to that big one. <laughs> I still don't have the strength to do that. Reach into that. Nice. Nice. Just like that. Now reach up. There you go. Got you. Got you. Oh, nice. All right. How's the rock feel? Like shit. Not nice, huh? It's terrible. <laughs> Think about where you want those feet. Nice. Move those hands up. Reach up to the left. You love me. You feed me. You feed me. Yeah. Reach that one. Nice. You love me. Get those feet. feet up. There you go. You got Back where I started today, the exact same campground where I was when I left off, but it's all right because I uh, got to explore a bunch of stuff. Did my first, what do you call it, highball? Highball? Death ball. Death ball. It was, it, was just, it was a highball climb. It was my first ever boulder and it was terrifying and I peed myself three times. But uh, run away back and uh, turns out it's two for one stakes pork chop steaks, which I didn't realize until after I bought it, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're cooking them fireside. It's too cold and windy out there to show any of that. So instead, I'm just gonna show you how good it is. Look at this. Okay, cut to time lapses. Good night.